Alright, what's up Yens guys? Time for another video and uh, I'm gonna tell you this story here. I, I so wanted to tell you this because uh, how this happened, uh, I'm definitely not making this up. If any of these guys live in particular neighborhoods or city or, or waiting for a bus or waiting for the train or something. I don't know if any of you people of different age groups did uh, may have been truck drivers if you're in certain neighborhoods or city or any kind of a thing you might actually believe me and I think if there any ends in a certain even occupation or anything you do uh, have some moral convictions whether religious in the right places or or not you would know this shit is a fact you know and if you're I'd say if you were a truck driver too it would be almost like what Eddie Rabbit said in one song you know Oh, when he was in a truck stop, you know what I mean? But this is weird. This, I mean, I'm going to th just throw in a bunch of, in this video, a bunch of bar park scenarios in case you guys want to play your own scenarios, depending on who you are, whether you're black or white, what color you are, you know, where you live. And crazy shit that happens, and I'm thinking this story, I tell you, I you know how uh, I tell people, like, the gang stalking, it's not just... The police and community oriented. It is, and then it can be homeland security. And it, nowadays, with all the terrorism, it is now. But yet, the people in the other kind of culture that don't like the authorities are scoping you out. They play these games too. And if you're not uh, a person who has uh, been involved in any kind of things, or if you were somebody that was always going to these drug parties, I'd had people that uh, were. Uh, like uh, did overcome addiction, overcome overcame addictions and all that. Told me some pretty good stories, you know, too. That, uh, but if you're not one of those people that were ever in any bars or any kind of thing or lifestyle where you go, you'd go anywhere for a party. Uh, and they play these games with you, like me, for example. Uh, the only thing I tell you is some stories that I was next to a lot of different people that told me stories. At the same time, I've worked in some places to play games, you know, I mean, but if you're somebody kind of like the way I am, the way I think uh, you would fall into this, you'd see it right away. You don't know if it's, it could be police, it could be somebody on the other side. You don't know, that's why you don't react and don't fall into a particular thing because uh, like uh, somebody like me, for example, that is totally oblivious, uh, I could be somebody on the side of police playing a game, or it could be on the side. Uh, you know, you don't know which either way which it is. Some of us actually don't. Uh, but yeah, here it goes. Uh, what, what the one thing that happened to me one day? I'm laughing about this. I don't even want to make a video about it, but it's so freaking hilarious. And the very fact that, yes, this was definitely staged. The one point that this person I encountered, I was almost afraid, oh shit, are they going to freaking die or something, or they were going to walk in front of a car. But then when I play it over and over in my head, theoretically they should have got hit by a car and all that, that somebody, I don't know which side it is, um, was playing a game and maybe it was fake, or maybe it was real, but I usually do my shopping, you know, by... Uh, bus or whatever, I'll go somewhere or to do my shopping and make rounds and all that or whatever, go do the shopping, right? And uh, I went, you know, got my, go and get my stuff like normal and usually I don't even bother giving anybody anything. Oh, could I have $2 for the bus? I mean, this person, I mean, I don't know, they might have been in their 20s or definitely younger than me, you know, she got this crew cut, she got this, uh, you know, uh, really, I don't know, I don't want to call them airhead, really, I don't know, they, they look really happy, like some bibbity boppy teenager or, you know, 20, or older or whatever, but had a crew cut and all that, her hair all shaved it. You know, it just looked like she's all full, full of joy, like bibbity bop all over the place or all that, you know, and did you talk her or whatever, you know, and all that, just started talking to people, asking so, oh, I, I don't have money for a bus or whatever this on the way home. It's, I happen to have $2 in my pocket. I'm like, oh, here. Because 
they didn't look to me like these usual people, male or female, that they want money for uh, uh, booze or want money for that or want for cigarettes. I usually stay the hell away from that shit. And uh, this would have happened probably whether I give them the two bucks or not. And this, uh, the goofy thing about this, and it looks like I'm making it up too, which it gets it stranger. Um, usually, like I say, if you, one of the times in your life, if you're watching this right, you give somebody a dollar, a quarter, I don't care if you, they look homeless or they look this or that. You sometimes, you could worry if you're there, they're going to scoop you out and you're going to see them again. They're going to be a pain in the ass. I don't know. But, you know, you think, oh, you're probably not going to see them anymore because you take a you. But, uh, okay, it took me like an hour. I'd wait, like it says, you know, I'd get a shopping done and get something home. And um, within, I do it within the time bracket where I know, you know, about wait a little bit for the bus to go and take me back home or whatever too, right? Um, so I get this this bunch of like stuff and then I go wait. To, well, I'm a little earlier for the bus like usual. And um, the strange thing about it is like this person, you know, she looked all normal, really talkative, looked really nice and all that. I give her two dollars before that. And the bus is like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm like, okay. But like, uh, you don't even want to, uh, you know, be involved with people and you don't want anybody to see that you have anything at all. You usually don't do that at all because you don't want to be anybody following you around. But anyway, within that hour, this person just pops up out of nowhere. She pops up out of nowhere and it's, instead of, you know, she was she seemed like, you know, kind of smart in a way, but she's almost like, you know, uh, maybe a teeny bopper, like in her 20s. Old. You know, you don't want to say airhead, but it's like giddy and cheerful, some kind of. But the, it was totally the opposite. She pops right up, I don't know, right at the bus stop. Come on, like she happened to be right the hell there and knew that I was going to go with that, that one, right? But she wasn't that, like, right over there. I told... I was telling my girlfriend this. I mean, I told a couple friends around here this, and uh, and uh, it's like all of a sudden she's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm playing this. It looks like some cartoon. Like I'm telling you, this don't even sound like it was real. Like I didn't really, really uh, see this shit. Like, like I still like telling you this. Like what? The, she's walking around, staggering all over the place, she, she, like some zombie. And I'm asking, her, oh, are you okay? And she's like, Ugh, you just. Like she's the Walking Dead, okay? There's a point where I thought, oh, geez, like, because I used to watch zombie things like the, these movies, right? Like Walking Dead, like she's, I don't know, might, might bite me or something, I don't know. But totally uncoherent. I don't know if it was just a fake theatric, because when I think about it, she's, I'm thinking almost, I'm almost ready to, and she's like staggering, almost like cars zipping by, like at red lights. But I must, you watch it, but. I didn't want to actually have any physical contact, but there was a point where I don't know what I almost wanted to just grab her. But she was also okay. You had we had some chilly uh, mornings, right? But she was also wearing a coat. You know, you have some things where uh, you we had some chilly mornings, but it was still summer. But she's wearing like practically like I don't want to say it's a winter coat, but a coat too. I mean, she, she was wearing a like winter coat too when she was all. Friendly and coherent, but she's like the fucking Walking Dead. She's like staggering, like I mean, she could have been uh, an audition for Michael Jackson's like Thriller, you know what I mean? You know, Dancing Zombies, or you know. Uh, but so I mean, what got me is part of me wanted to, hey, what are you doing? What? But then I'm thinking like this many times that she was walking like this in front of the car to buy a car too. She should. have theoretically should have been hit and hurt. I'm like, oh shit, am I gonna be responsible for this? But not only that, no total, totally incoherent. She was like, later on, she was like staggering and even grabbing onto me. Like, she's like, like she could losing her balance and walking on behind me, grabbing on my back, kind of like staggering, going like, like, I'm like, I'm like, what, what, what are you doing? Get off of me, what are you, I mean, what are you doing? Are you okay? And I like, uh, like, holy shit! I said, are you? I, I said, okay, you want me to call uh, somebody? I was just gonna just use the phone. I mean, there was a point where you don't want to 
I don't know if you knew somebody, if it was somebody you knew, you don't want to embarrass them by calling 911 and then whatever habits, drug habits or some kind of thing they have, other people that they know get mad at you or some shit, like you, all of a sudden they, some drugs get found on them or you don't want to be the one to do that. I says, you know, I mean, if it was somebody that you knew, you know, like say me, if I knew somebody that they smoked a little something or they drank or them. You know, go to hell. You know, you're not. You don't look to go to hell home or do something. But then you could be saying, "Oh." We, so I was almost with the phone trying to decide if I'm going to call 911 or not. But I wanted to get the hell away from them and hide from them. So I go to this pizza hut over there because there's a pizza hut right over at the uh, damn uh, uh, where the bus stop is. I wanted to just to try to get away from them. I had my girls who I want to get away from them for a second and hide from them. Maybe they'll just go. Away. I don't know. I was just, I really should have called 911 right there. But the guy at the Pizza Hut goes, uh, before I even started talking or anything, he says, I know, uh, I was watching her the whole time, you know, stay the hell away from her. Uh, she comes out, she, she comes around all the time. I'm like, because I was like, almost like, you know, what the hell, you know what I mean? Um, and it was like one of them scenarios, okay, if you're watching this video this uh, long, okay, and seen this this long, here's another scenario. Pretend this wasn't staged, okay? And if it wasn't staged, and a person was really that out of it doing this, and if it was somebody you know behaving like this, right, you'd probably be afraid for them. And it's like uh, maybe somebody driving by in a car picks them up and takes them God knows where, you know, and probably, you know, the cops would probably find their body or something later on because a person who was really in this behavior, you know, some opportunist, some, some psycho killer or, or you know, you those things you read about, you know, take them in a car, take them to their house or whatever, do whatever they want with them and then even if they say died, if it was a thing where they were going to OD and they died or some damn shit, they just dump them somewhere or some sick son of a bitch just uh, do whatever they want with them and just kill them so they don't uh, t talk and dump them. I mean, providing this wasn't an act that it wasn't real or whatever too, but I am almost a firm believer of like, because all of a sudden this person was this way or something, and whether the chance of me meeting up with them like that and all of a sudden pops right out of nowhere like they were there just for me or whatever. But uh, but they're like, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm like, get away from me. But but if I was driving a car, okay, the thing, I that's just one thing you should pay attention to. Say if I was driving a car, I used to drive a family car and do things and didn't wait for the bus. Just the fact I was waiting for a bus and all that was an opportunity for this. But... What if there was a scenario where I had a car somewhere and I was doing groceries and I stopped somewhere, right? And say, if you're watching this video and you've got a car, if you're paying attention. What you would not want to do, you don't want this liability, do not pick them up in a car. They're better off to call 911, you know, they go die in your car. But don't pick them up in the car. They were, you don't know what they could turn around and try to say, but... So I went, well, ran over this Pizza Hut to get away from her because I was almost thinking, I was almost like when the guy at the Pizza Hut said this is like, I was almost relieved. I was like, oh, thank God somebody saw it because, you know, uh, I was like, God damn, you know, because there can be, there's these people, right, that uh, it's like theatrics. You don't know who could be creating it. It's, and, you know, there's people out there that uh, are looking to, that like it's like uh, elaborate. Uh, you don't know uh, how far that the uh, undercover police and theatrics would go to try to, uh, you know, to see uh, certain things, and then it's just they're wired or whatever, and they're looking for like people like you and me because they uh, somebody somewhere gets a bonus if they uh, try to see if you're a kind of person who. They were hoping for a bad character to something you might do or whatever. Or somebody on the other side, you know, of God, it could be pimps and drug dealers or somebody. That in a situation like that, looking, you know, to, you, you follow them or take them somewhere and, you know, you get, like if somebody that's on certain lines, you know, no, you know, you don't know who 
is putting on this show and uh, somebody somewhere could, no matter who it is on which side of the tracks, could in fact have their eyes on you or whatever. And um, what I'm saying to you, some of this shit could be fake. I mean, if you were somebody, a truck driver going to a place, a truck stop, and you've got some moral convictions, you could be like uh, people coming out of nowhere uh, too, you know. Uh, trying to pull different kind of shit or whatever too because like maybe you swear a lot and have a hell of an attitude problem but yet they see something in you that um, I mean you know, on a political level too that people do that kind of shit you know, going on but um, damn it, I mean but at the same time I'm a firm believer if you've got far this far in this video did um I know some of you watching this may be in the city, and you might be saying, "Oh, that's not freaky to me. I live in, you know, so and so. You know, it may, may not be New York or Los Angeles, but you know where I live. Man, I see that shit all the time. You know, it's no big deal. What are you so uh, shocked and all about it? You know what I mean? But I'm almost a firm believer that you don't have to be a religious fanatic or in any there. There could be some kind of weird ass zombie apocalypse or something. Not exactly like Resident Evil or." Uh, that 48 days later movie or something like that or like not like I am legend or which eventually could be but you see people that are on different drugs you know like monkey dust or like other kind of things where yes you could have some kind of violent zombie like scenario but at the same time I am thinking that uh, this zombie thing in the future you might have some of that you might have these I don't know diseases or whatever uh, vaping products or drugs that people were trying now or putting in people's stuff or experiment with people you might have this zombie you might have these zombie like people that are just walking around like like you ever see the movie uh, with Jodie Foster now walking around these zombie like like that you know what I mean and uh, some sick fucker would uh, want to take advantage of that then they might get bit or uh, if nothing else, you know, think that they're going to take advantage of somebody so easy, you know, uh, they might get the worst freaking uh, rod originally originating from their crotch that would be the likes of which nobody's ever seen. But if you don't believe anything that I'm telling you there, look up the old uh, Things with uh, the Black Plague, you don't fucking think that that can come back again? That the simple, you know, I'm I uh, didn't plan on jumping them subject, but it's like for another video, I'm tying it in. But uh, it's like really relevant here. Like you had the, the plagues of these medieval plagues, you know, that came. Some of it came from fleas jumping on the rats. But different, you got different activities that people are doing. You look at these YouTube videos that. In your neighborhoods, people are throwing needles, just using needles, throwing them down, and you've got these people that are just giving away people needles, these liberals giving away people needles, uh, claiming they're trying to prevent AIDS and all that. And I quite frankly think that it's just a guise under the guise of uh, being the biggest purveyors of that. Yeah, right, just give somebody a needle. Yeah, that's been enabled all the shit that people were doing and all that shit too you see all the youtube videos that needles just people can't go to freaking beaches anymore because they're not in garbage there's needles on beaches because there's the i don't know these homeless you know communities and tents different things and they're throwing needles and if you're paying attention to any of this if you were ever out of proper situation homeless uh the last place you would be going anywhere near is these cities with tents that might have these because you don't want to be near that shit. Because for one thing, if anybody is going to arrest or even purge any of these people, you don't want to be anywhere near that shit. You want to be away from it. You might be on a... You, where you want to be is in the shadow somewhere in a distance and you seeing this all going down. I'm like, ah, well, you know what I mean? Because, you know, if it actually come, comes to that and people's behaviors a little bit of the time are actually getting to that. I mean, Henry Rollins actually said in his everything, uh, his collection of uh, spoken words, it was called Everything, a CD, that people that litter are pushing it right along. 
he's right, you know. And he, he was talking about, like, you know, eventually bodies being in dumpsters. And, and Henry Rollins is not a religious person I, uh, either, but yet he seems to be talking about a very inevitable uh, future, you know what I mean, where, uh, uh, I mean, some shit is going to eventually go down at some magnitude or whatever, too. And it's like, Jesus, Jesus Christ, uh, but anyway, when I told you that little story, what the rest of the story, I forgot to tell you the rest of the story. Okay, the cops finally you know, get there. You know, I'm almost ready to get on the bus. And and I, I goes, uh, there was this other young, it looked like a young cop, maybe rookie. He's going to whoop. She's like, she goes and there's like this decorative rock or whatever over here, like that some people have, uh, even the rock or concrete ledges, some people have like, she goes and Lays on her back, she's on it. By the time the police go there, and the cop goes, "Oh, you are right." And I go yell to the cop, and I say, uh, "Oh, you need me to ask any questions to or anything?" And the cop didn't even seem to care or not. I thought maybe cops might want to ask me a bunch of questions, and I'd be telling the cop and go, oh, "I swear, I, you know, uh, this or that," because you know, I was I went to this pizza, and I'm worried about what shit looks like, you know and I mean. And he goes, oh, don't worry about it, and then just, I get on the bus. But uh, so, like, um, but theoretically, back to the story, I'm thinking that, come on, this many times this was going on, you know, that come on, this woman or girl should have theoretically been hit by a car, you know what I mean, too. But at the same time, there was shit that people really are doing that's freaking creepy. That turn him into a fucking zombie or whatever, too. I mean, god damn, you know.